It's got a chapter 11, Trouble for the Israel's Enemies, Lebanon, open your gate, let the fire come in to destroy your cedar trees, cry, you cedar, cypress cities, cypress trees, the glorious cedars have fallen and are rotting, cry, you oak trees of Bashan, the dense forest, has been chopped down. Listen, shepherds are crying. Their glorious pastures have been ruined. Listen, lions are rolling, rolling. The for forests of the Jordan Valley are no more to be found. Worthless shepherds. The Lord my God said to me, Tend those sheep doomed for slaughters. The people who buy and butcher them go unpunished, where everyone who sells them says, Praise the Lord, I am rich. Not even their shepherds have pity on them. Tend those sheep because I, the Lord will no longer have pity on the people of this earth. I will turn neighbor against the neighbor and make them slaves of the king. They will bring disaster on the earth and I will do nothing to ask any of them. So I became a shepherd of those sheep doomed to be slaughtered by the sheep dealers and I gave my and I gave name to the two sticks I used for tending the ship. One of them was named Mercy and the other Untidy, Unity. In less than a month, I became impatient with three shepherds who didn't like me and I got rid of them. Then I said I refused to be your shepherd. Let the sheep that are going to die go on and die, and those that are going to be destroyed go on and be destroyed, then let the others eat one another alive. On the same day, I broke the stick named Mercy to show that the Lord had cancelled his agreement with all people. The sheep dealers who show me knew at once that this was a message from the Lord. I told them, pay me my wages if you think you should, otherwise forget it. So they handed me my wages on oh, measly story pieces of silver. Then the Lord said, Drew the money into the treasury. So I drew the money into the treasury at the Lord Temple. Then I broke the stick named the unity and canceled the ties between Judah and Israel. Next, the Lord said to me, Act like a shepherd again. This time of worth Worthless shepherd. Once more, I am going to let a worthless nobody lose the land. One who won't care for the stray or search for the young or heal the sick or feed the healthy. He will just die on the fattest ship, leaving nothing but a few bones. A worthless shepherd deserting the ship. I hope a sword will cripple your arm and blind your right eye. Scaria chapter 12 Victory for Jerusalem. This is a message from the Lord about Israel. I am the Lord. I stretched out the heavens. I put the earth on its foundation and gave breath to humans. I've decided that Jerusalem will become a bowl of wine that makes the neighbor 
bring nations drunk. And when Jerusalem is attacked, Judah will also be attacked. But I will turn Jerusalem into heavy stone that crushes anyone who tries to lift it. When I will, when all nations on earth surround Jerusalem, I will blind every horse and make them panic, and every rider will be confused. But at the same time, I will watch over Judah. Then every clan in Judah will realize that I, the Lord of Powerful, am their God, and that I am the source of their strength. At that time, I will let the clans of Judah be like a bow of fire, in a wood pile or a fiery torch in a haystack. Then Judah will send the surrounding nations up in smoke. And once again, the city of Jerusalem will be filled with people. But I will first give victory to Judah. So the kingdom of David and the city of Jerusalem in all of their glory on be thought of more highly than Judah itself. I, the Lord God, will protect Jerusalem. Even the weakest person there will be be as strong as David, and David's kingdom will rule as through my very own angel or each leader. I am determined to wipe out every nation that attacks Jerusalem, mourning for the one priest with a spear. I, the Lord, will make the descendant of David and the people of Jerusalem feel deep, slow, and pray when they see the one they precede with the spear. They will mourn and weep for him as parents weep over the death of their only child or their firstborn. On that day, the people of Jerusalem will mourn as much as everyone did for Hadrat Rimon on the flatland near Negido. Everyone of each family in the land will mourn, and the men will mourn separately from the mourning women. This includes those from the family of David and the family of Nathan, Levi, Semia, and all other families as well. Scariot chapter 13 Getting rid on idols and false prophets. In the future, there will be a fountain. Where David's descendants and the people of Jerusalem can wash away their sin and guilty. The Lord of Powerful says, When that time comes, I will get rid of every idol in the country, and they will be forgotten forever. I will also do away with their prophets and how those evil spirits that control them. If any such prophets ever appear again, their own parents must warn them. They will die for telling lies in my name, the name of the Lord. If those prophets don't stop speaking, their parents must then kill them with a sword. Those prophets will be ashamed of their so-called visions, and they won't decide anyone by dressing like a true prophet. Instead, they will say, I am no prophet. I've been a farmer all my life. And if any of them are asked why they are wounded, they will answer, it happened at the house of some friends, a wounded shepherd and scattered sheep. 
throat of powerful sad, my sword wake up, tang my shepherd and sh friend, strike down the shepherd, scatter the little sheep, and I will destroy them. Now, he now here in the land, will more than a third of them be left alive. Then I will purify them and put them to the rest, to the test. Just as gold and silver and purified and tested, they will pray in my name. I will answer them. I will say, "You are my people," and they will reply, "Reply, you Lord are our God." Scarlet chapter fourteen. War and victory the Lord will have his day, and when it comes, everything that has ever taken from Jerusalem will be returned and divided among its people. But first, he will bring many nations to attack Jerusalem. Homes will be robbed, women raped, and half of the population dragged off, though the others will be allowed to remain. The Lord will attack those nations like a warrior frightened in battle. He will take his stands on the Mount of Olives east of Jerusalem, and the mount will split in half, forming a wide valley that runs from east to west. Then you people will escape from the Lord mountain, through it this valley which reaches to Azal. You will run in all directions just as everyone did when the earthquake struck in the time of King Uzziah of Judah. Afterward, the Lord my God will appear with his holy angels. It will be a bright day that on turn cloud of code and Lord have decided when it will happen this time of an ending day in both summer and winter life giving streams will flow from Jerusalem half of them to the Dead Sea in the east and half to the Mediterranean Sea in the west then there will be only one Lord who rules as king and whose name is worshipped everywhere on earth. From Geba, from Geba down to Ramon south of Jerusalem, the entire country will be turned into flat lands with Jerusalem will stirring above. Then the city will full of people from Benjamin Gate, Old Gate Place, and Hananel Tower in the northeast, the part of city over the corner gate in the northwest, and down to King's Wine Press in the south. Jerusalem will always be secure and will never again be destroyed. Here is what the Lord will do to those who attack Jerusalem while they are standing there. He will make their flesh rot and their eyes fall from their sockets and their tongues drop out. The Lord will make them go into frenzy and start attacking each other until even the people of Judah turn against to those in Jerusalem. This same trouble, te terrible disaster will also strike every animal nearby, including horses, mules, camels, and donkeys. Finally, everything of value in the surrounding nations will be collected and brought to Jerusalem. Gold, silver, and piles of clothing Afterward, the survivors from those nations that attacked 
예루살렘 we go there each year to worship the king the lord of powerful and to celebrate the festival of shelters no rain will fall on the land of anyone in any country who refuses to go to Jerusalem to worship the king. The Lord of Powerful, this horrible disaster will strike the Egyptians and everyone else who refuses to go there for the celebration. At the time, the words the dedicated to the Lord will be engraved on the bells worn by horses. In fact, every ordinary cooking pot in Jerusalem will be just as sacred to the Lord or powerful as the bowls used at the altar. Any one of them will be acceptable for bowling the meat of sacrificed animals and there will no longer be need to sell special pots and bowls. Amen.